Today we're going to do a roast chicken with uh, gravy, roast parsnips and roast potatoes and some garlic and we're going to make the skin nice and crunchy. So first off we're going to take our parsnips and our potatoes, we're going to peel them and we're going to cut them into quarters. Um, on the fat side, on the thin end, we're going to leave that in a half cut so we've got more or less the same thickness going on. This way um, cooking will be more uniform over the whole pot. We're also going to cut our potatoes and we're going to do them all at the same time. Once we've got those all cut up, we are then going to Put them in a pan, in a saucepan, and cover them with water, just enough depth so they've got a bit of movement. And then we're going to add some salt. It's going to be uh, fairly generous with the salt. Once they get to boiling point, we're going to count 10 minutes. So we're going to just blanch them. So we're just going to, we're not going to cook them all the way through. We're just going to soften them up. So once it's boiling, 10 minutes after, we're then going to take them off the heat and we're going to strain them. So once they're strained off, we're just going to leave them separate. I'm going to deal with our chicken now. In a tray, with a, if you've got a tray with a grill on it, that you can keep it off the liquids that come off it, so therefore we'll be roasting the bottom of it as well. We won't just be boiling the bottom of it. So if you can get a grill that will lift it off those the liquids that come out of it, that's good. I'm going to get a chicken, we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to salt it on the underside. First, so we're going to be fairly generous with the salt, rub it into the skin so it stays there and penetrates inside, flip it over and we're going to do the same on the other side. Some salt in the cavity as well, we want to do, do this to make sure we've got uh, enough salt and the chicken's tasty. Uh, the chicken we're going to salt, salt and pepper. Then in the oven we are going to put the chicken And we're also going to put a tray with some greaseproof paper on it. And we're going to put some oil on that. Right, our parsnips. I'm only going to use half of them, so what you can do is the other half that you've already blanched, you can put them in a bag and you can freeze them and they'll be ready for, you, for whenever you need to use them. You can just roast straight away. Now I'm going to pull out the baking tray that we put greaseproof paper on and olive oil and that olive oil there is very hot it's been in there 10 minutes at 190 degrees same as the chicken as you can see they're frying away there we're going to put our parsnips and our potatoes on the baking tray and then we're going to mix them all up the chicken goes in for an hour and a half at 190 degrees the oil's been in at 190 for just under 10 minutes so it's very hot um, and the potatoes are going to also, and the parsnips are going to also go in at 190 degrees, but they're going to be in there for 40 minutes. All right, so we've got to time it so that our potatoes are done at the same time as our chicken is. After 20 minutes, we're going to pull those out, and we are going to move them around. You may notice that there's some garlics, some garlics in. That I've put in the same amount of time as the potatoes. Just cut it in half, put some oil on it, salt and pepper. Back in for another 20 minutes. Right, after an hour and a half at 190 degrees, we're going to pull our chicken out. As you can see, the skin's all crispy, but not as crispy as we, we like it. So, we're going to take the chicken off the tray and we're going to put it on a separate tray. Now we're going to take those juices and we're going to heat them up. We're going to have a little bit of white wine and we're going to 
boil them off, boil the white wine off, and also try and pull off all those crusty bits there that are full of flavour. And we're going to use that in our gravy later. So we're going to take that off the heat and we're going to reserve it in a little pot or something, or a bowl, for later. Now the spuds are coming out and the parsnips, they've been in for 40 minutes at 190 and serve the garlics there. So we're going to put those onto a tray, let them sit for a little bit because they are really hot. Look at them, golden, crispy, lovely. And the garlics are going to go back in. Now, we're gonna, we've got our chicken out and we're going to just separate the legs off and we're going to pull that skin off. So we're going to take the, all that skin off. I mean, if you can get it off in one, that's good. If not, then it doesn't really matter. We separate that off. Then we're going to cut the breasts off. We're going to take the whole breast off and put it on a chopping board and that way it's easy to carve up and to cut up into pieces and we can make sure that we cut it across the grain so that when we eat it it's, uh, it's not as fibrous. And there you go, see look at that, juicy, tender. We chop up both, both breasts and the thighs as well. So have some white meat and some grey meat. Right, now there you can see the skin that is on some aluminium foil and that's going to go in with the garlics for about 10 minutes. Now, in, this is the base of the gravy, so we're going to use about 10 grams of butter or oil per person and the same amount of flour. That's about the amount you want uh, for doing a roux. Um, so we're going to heat that butter up, melt it, or the oil, and then we're going to put the flour in and mix it up. So we've got the paste that we're going to cook off, so we're cooking that flour there. After that we're going to take our juices that we boiled down earlier and we're going to use a little uh, strainer to filter out any uh, thick bits in there and we're going to bit by bit add that to the, this mix. Right, so once the flour is cooked off bit by bit add some of that um, some of those juices and then if we've got any stock uh, chicken stock we can add that to add more flavor so that uh, we've got a nice smooth sauce so the stock goes in and this sauce is delicious nice gravy there look at that look at this texture here silky smooth and uh, lovely perfect That beeping was the oven, so we're going to take the uh, chicken skin and the garlics out. Look at that skin, it's, really, it's, it's stuck, but it, uh, it'll come off once it cools a bit. Really thin. It's the chicken skin, cut thin, all the grease has gone out of it. Check it out. See that? Mm. Super good. Oh. 